Hi friends, welcome to our channel 21 CFR Part 11. Please subscribe our YouTube channel and hit the bell button to get more such updates. In this video, we are going to see about the electronic audit trail review. The US FDA 21 CFR Part 11 and EU GMP Annex 11 Clause 9 requests that the consideration should be given based on a risk assessment to building into the system the creation of a record of all GMP relevant changes and deletions. In short, a system generated audit trail. For change or deletion of GMP relevant data, the reason should be documented. Audit trail need to be available and convertible to a generally intelligible form and regularly reviewed. Now as you have already seen 21 CFR Part 11 and EU GMP NX 11 Clause 9 request. Now what if the request is not followed, you are going to get a warning. Now the warning is as follows, here is an example for you. Your firm's review of laboratory data does not include a review of an audit trail or revision history to determine if unapproved changes have been made. Now before proceeding, let us see the definition of audit trail. An audit trail is a log generated by the computerized system that allows the operator entries or action related to creation, modification or deletion of GMP relevant electronic record to be traced back to the original electronic records. Now after seeing the definition, one can ask when audit trails are must. The audit trails are must, here are the few examples when the users have access to data, when the data are regulated records, the data have an impact on product quality and when the users can change the data. Now if we get into the details of some questions. One can ask, who has what privileges? Is the date time altered? Is the regulated data altered or deleted? Are the logins shared or are unique? Is the backup done, etc. Now answers to all these questions is audit trail review. You can get answers to all these questions with the help of audit trail review and hence audit trail review is a must. In the event when the computerized system is used for batch release, the system should only allow authorized person to certify the release of batches. There should be a clear identity of the person releasing the batches. Now how often the audit trails must be reviewed? FDA recommends that the audit trails that capture changes to the critical data be reviewed with each record and before final approval of the record. Second level check will ensure audit trails is reviewed before the approval. Audit trails subject to regular review should include changes to history of finished product test results, sample run sequences, sample identification, critical process parameter, IT security event logs, etc. FDA recommends routine scheduled audit trail review based on the complexity and the intended use of the system. Audit trails are considered part of the associated records that is metadata. Personnel responsible for the record review under CGMP should review the audit trails that capture changes to the critical data associated with the record as they review the rest of the record. For example, all production and control record which includes audit trail must be reviewed and approved by the quality unit. This is similar to the expectation that cross outs on paper be assessed when reviewing the data. Now talking about the audit trail enable and disable functionality which is very common in most of the laboratory systems. The laboratory has turned off the audit trail functionality within the system. It is therefore not clear who has modified a file and why. 
audit trail should be always active. If disable feature is there, it has to be only with the admin. Admin will not use this feature as per the training given to him. All work of admin should also come under the audit trail and audit trail review SOP should be present in a company. If new system is being developed, then no one should be able to disable the audit trail. This must be taken care and this feature of disable should not be there in the system. The date and time synchronization or the change is allowed only for the purpose of time setting and it must be con under the control of the admin. Now talking about some of the important features that, uh, that an audit trail must have is as follows. The access to the audit trail data should be limited to the print or read only purpose. It must be protected against the modification or the deletion. It should have the ability to capture a full history of all GMP related transactions including the identity of the person making the change. In short, we can say that the audit trail must capture the history in the form with having the details of who did what, when and why. The audit trail date and time must be synchronized with the trusted date and time services example the main server and it should be readily available in a readable format. So with all the discussions we had so far we can give a concluding statement that the audit trail configuration and logs must be reviewed regularly based on the criticality of the system and its in intended use. The audit trails may be requested by the GMP inspector as an evidence and hence a audit trail review is must. So friends that's all in this video we have about the audit trail review details. If you have liked this video please follow our Facebook page of 21 CFR part 11. Also subscribe to our YouTube channel. We also have our presence in LinkedIn. Thank you for watching us. Have a nice day and bye bye.